Now this was a pair. But this third surah of this subgroup, it is a unique and unitary surah. Surah Al-Jinn. And this is the only surah in the Quran. I pointed out that Surah Al-Rahman is the only surah in the Quran where both the men, humans and jinns are continuously addressed parallel to each other. Only surah. So, نَفْرَغُ لَكُمْ أَيُّهَا السَّقَلَانِ Ya مَعْتَرَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنسِ Address both. Addressing both. And this is the surah exclusively which is mentioning the jinns. Actually, this happened twice in the life of the Prophet ﷺ. And it's a strange coincidence that both times this incident took place at Nakhla. Nakhla is a place between Mecca and Taif. So, number one, we have read in Surah Al-Ahqaf, in the tenth year after the beginning of Wahi, when the Prophet ﷺ went to Taif, so that maybe some of the chiefs of Taif, if he or they accept Islam, then I can shift my center and my base from Mecca to Taif. But they all rejected. When he was coming, and he was very disheartened, so he stopped over for the night at Nakhla. And when he was praying Tahajjud and reciting Quran, so a group of jinns passed by. When they listened, they came, and they listened to the Quran. And then they believed in Quran and Muhammad Wasallam, and they went to their people, calling them also to believe Muhammad Wasallam. So that was one incident. This is the other incident. And that was earlier than that incident. That the Prophet took some of his companions with him, and he went to the Sukhe Akkas. There used to be marketplaces, you know. So there people came. So people, uh, the Prophet used to go there for calling them to the cause of, to the way of Allah, path of Allah. So on the way, they stayed at Nakhla. And in the morning prayer, Fajr, the Prophet ﷺ recited Quran. At that time also, some of the jinns, you know, they passed by. Then they listened to Quran. And then they went to their people, jinns. And they said, now we are reading. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. قُلْ وُحِيَ إِلَيَّ أَنَّهُ اسْتَمَعَ دَفْرُ مِنَ الْجِنِّ O Muhammad, say, them, say to them, tell them, it has been revealed to me that a group of a party of jinns listened carefully, attentively, فَقَالُوا And then they said to their people, إِنَّا سَمِعْنَا قُرْآنًا عَجَبًا We have listened a Qur'an, which is very wonderful. Now note this word, Uhi Ilayya. The Prophet didn't know that the jinns have come. He didn't know by himself that they have listened to Quran. And they went back preaching. It was revealed to him. It came to his knowledge through revelation. Kul Uhi Ilayya. It has been revealed to me. Allahu Nafaru Minal Jinn. That some of the jinns, they listened attentively to me. Fakalu. And then returning to their people. They said, Inna sami'na Quran al-Ajaba. We have listened to a very, very wonderful Quran. Again, please compare. Some of you are listening to this Quran for more than three weeks now. But maybe you don't get moved. But these jinns, they were so motivated by once listening to Quran that they became preachers and callers for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Immediately they started preaching and calling their fellow jinns to Islam. Inna samayna Quranun ajabai yahdi la rushd. This Quran leads to the right path. Fa'aman nabi. So we have believed in it. We have accepted it. Walan nushreka bi rabbina ahada. And we are never going to associate anybody with our Lord in the future. Actually, in that incident, in which, you know, Surah Al-Ahqaf, which describes Surah Al-Ahqaf, described in this surah, they were the people of the book. So they said, we have listened to a book after the book of Moses. So they believe in Torah. They were the jinns of ahl kitab They were people of the book, jinns of the book. But these were the Muslim jinns. So they said, we are not going to do any shirk in the future. لَن نُشْرِكَ بِرَبِّنَا أَحَدًا وَأَنَّهُ تَعَلَى جَدُّ رَبِّنَا 
and definitely the the position of and majesty of our Lord is very exalted. Matkhada sahibatam wala walada. He didn't take unto him any wife or any son or any daughter. Wanahu kana yakulu safihun ala Allah shatata. And definitely the foolish ones from amongst us, they were speaking against Allah in outrage and extravagant lies. Wainna zanna Allah takula insu aljinu ala Allah kaseba. And we thought. That no jinn or no man would say something wrong about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thought they are sincere. But they were leading us astray. They said Allah has adopted sons and daughters. And Allah has associated gods with him. And then there was certain men of mankind who used to take refuge with certain men of the jinn. This was a practice with the Arabian peoples when they traveled in the deserts. And now night has fell and they have to halt somewhere. They thought that every place belongs to someone jinn. So they used to say, Ta'uzu bi rabbi jinn hazal wadi. I take refuge of the jinn of this wadi. So that they shouldn't do us any harm. So now the jinn, if they are there listening and they say, these human beings, they are asking refuge from us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made the angels to prostrate before Adam. So this increased arrogance in them. فَزَادُوهُمْ rahaka. In this way, they became more and more arrogant. وَأَنَّهُمْ ظَلُّوا كَمَا ظَلَنْتُمْ أَلَّا يَبَاسَ اللَّهُ أَحَدًا And they also thought, the, the men, humans, that... As, as you had thought that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send anyone as a messenger or will not resurrect anyone. Do many meanings can be Jabasa. Jabasallahu Ahada. Now Allah is not going to send any messenger. Or Allah will not resurrect anyone. Vaina Labasta Sama. And we try to reach the heavens. For Vajadnaha Muleyat Harasan Sharidam Vashoba. And we found it filled with strong guards and flaming fires, missiles, waiting for us. And we used to sit on places wherein to listen. But from Yastam Ilan, whosoever tries to listen now, Yajid Lahu Shahab Rasada, he will find a flaming fire waiting for him. It's very important ayah. And that we don't know whether ill is intended for those on the earth or whether their Lord intends for them something good. What does it mean? After a messenger came to a people, now one of the two fates were inevitable. If the people rejected, they were destroyed. If they accept it, Allah's mercy, Allah's blessings. Now we don't know that this new messenger has come. Muhammad Sassar has been sent. This book has been revealed to him. Now we don't know what will happen to these people. Either they will reject him and be destroyed, like the people of Hud and Saleh and Shoaib, or they are going to accept and respond positively. So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spreads for them His blessings. وَأَنَّا لَا نَدْرِي أَشَّرْنُ نُرِيدَ بِمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَمْ أَرَادَ بِهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ رَشَدًا وَإِنَّا مِنَّا صَالِحُونَ وَمِنَّا دُونَ ذَلِكَ Now this is the way of their teaching and preaching. And look, from amongst us, there are righteous pigeons also. But مِنَّا دُونَ ذَلِكَ There are some of the rivers or converse Character also. We have both. Inna minna swalehun wa minna duna zalik. Kunna tara yakke dada. We are sex following different ways, divergent paths. Vaina zananna. And we have come to understand. Allah knows Allah fil ard. Neither we can defeat Allah in this earth. Vala knows Allah haraba. Nor can we defeat Him by running away somewhere from the earth. وَأَنَّا لَمَّا سَمَيْنَ الْهُدَىٰ آمَنَّا بِهِ And oh, our jinn fellows, when we heard this guidance, 
we have believed in it. We have accepted it. For my yomim be rabbihi. Now whosoever believes in his Lord, فَلَا يَخَافُ بَخْصًا وَلَا رَحَقَ He will have no fear of any loss or oppression. وَإِنَّا مِنَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ وَمِنَ الْقَاسِتُونَ Look again. We are different type of genes amongst us. There are some who have submitted their, their, themselves to their Lord. وَمِنَ الْقَاسِتُونَ And also there are the deviators, unjust. فَمَنْ أَسْلَمَ فَأُولَائِكَ تَحَرَّوْنَ رَشَدَا So whosoever submits himself in Islam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so he has adopted the way to success. وَأَمَّا الْقَاسِتُونَ As for those who deviate, who are unjust, who are committing shirk, فَكَانُوا لِجَهَنَّمَ حَتَبَا So they are going to be the fuel of hell. وَأَنْ لَوِ اسْتَقَامُوا عَلَى التَّرِيْتَةِ لَا اسْتَيْنَاهُمْ عَانْ غَدَقَا And O Prophet ﷺ, if these, the pagan people of Bakka, if they had remained on the right path, there was a right path for them, because they are the progeny of Ibrahim, and after Ibrahim, Ismail. Had they continued following the path of Ibrahim and Ismail, and not deviated to right or left, then the astainahu maan gadaqa, we might have given them abundant water to drink. And all these blessings that we give to the people, they are for their trial, so that we try them therewith. Whosoever turns his face away from the remembrance of his Lord, yes, look who Azab al Saada, Allah will make him into a chastise, ever growing chastisement. The intensity of that chastisement and torment will go on increasing and increasing. One al Masajid al Allah, and look, these Masajid, the, the places for prayers, they all belong to Allah. Falat adu mu Allah ahada. So don't call on anyone else except Allah. You have to pray Allah, pray to Allah, call on Him, ask His forgiveness. If you have some need, ask Him to fulfill your need. None else. This is the essence of Tawheed. Dua only from Allah. Either we can call each other to help each other in some visible way, that is, some material way. If I say to somebody, well, fetch me a glass of water, no shirk in it. I know he can go and he can take water from there and bring it for me. But if I, you know, call from unseen, either the angel, for example, if I call O Jibreel, please do this thing for me, it is here. You can't do it. We know we have two angels here, but we can't say, do it for me. No. Call to Allah. Maybe the arwah and the spirits of the saints also. Maybe that might be here, because this is one opinion, of, especially of Shah Waliullah of Delhi, Rahimahullah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, includes the spirits of the saints, or Ya Allah, friends of Allah, after their death, their spirits are joined with the angels of this world, this earth. Malaikatul Ard. And they also then become servants. These are the civil servants of the divine state, universal state of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they are implementing the demands and commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But I can't say, Ya Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani Shayam Lillah. No, no, no. This is shirk. Call Allah. Oh Allah, I am in pain. Please relieve me. Maybe he sends some angel for the relief. Okay. I don't care. If he sends the spirit of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani, well, I don't care. But I have to call Allah and none else. La tadru ma'allahi ahada. Along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot call anyone else. Wadnahu lamma qama abdullahi yadruhu. Now these jinns are telling them that we have seen in very strange scenes. When their servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he stands somewhere and calls people to bring Islam and to accept Islam. 
کادو یا کورونا علیہ لبادا دے کراؤڈڈ دیم سیلز نیئر ہم ایز اف دے ول کل ہم کل ناؤ دی ایڈریس ہز ان دی سیکنڈ سیکشن دی سورا آل دس یو نو دی سپیچ آف دی جنس از فنشڈ ناؤ اٹ از ان ایڈریس ٹو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم قل انما ادعو ربی سی اٹ آؤٹ آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم I call upon my Lord only. Wala ushriko be rabbi behi ahada. And I don't associate with him anyone. Qul inni la amleko lakum barram wala nashada. Say, I don't claim that I have any power over you. Anything that can hurt you or benefit you. No. La amleko lakum barram wala nashada. I don't have any power for you for any benefit. اور اینی لاؤس قُلِ اللِّي لَنْ يُجِيرَنِ مِنَ اللَّهِ اَحَدٌ Say it None will be able to protect me against Allah سبحانہ وتعالی وَلَنْ عَجَدَ مِن دُونَهِ مُلْتَحَدَ I will not be able to find beside him any place of refuge إِلَّا بَلَاغَمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِسَالَاتِهِ Except by conveying the message of Allah سبحانہ وتعالی I have been deputed for this. I have been appointed by him for this. So if I don't do it, well, I'll be brought to the book. I'll be the culprit. I'll be guilty. As you know, I have, a few days back, I mentioned many a times, ayah number 6 of Surah Al-Araf, فَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الَّذِينَ أُرْسِلَا إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَنَسْأَلَنَّ الْمُرْسَلِينَ We shall ask from those also to whom, to whom we sent our messengers. And we shall ask the messengers also. Our message went to you. You were deputed, you were appointed to convey it to the people. Did you convey them? So Muhammad is saying in very plain words, if I don't do it, who will be able to protect me from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Nobody will be able to save me. And give me refuge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَلَنْ أَجِدَ مِن دُونَهِ مُلْتَحَدَ Nor I will be find, I can find any refuge anywhere beside him. إِلَّا بَلَاغَمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِسَالَاتِهِ Except that I go on and go on and go on conveying and from Allah and his messages. وَمَنْ يَعْصِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ And whosoever disobeys Allah and his messenger فَإِنَّ لَهُ نَعْرَ جَهَنَّمْ For him is the fire of the hell. قَالِ دِينَ فِيهَا عَبَدَا And they will abide in it forever, forever. حَتَّى إِذَا رَوْ مَا يُعَدُونَ Till that time, that when they will see what they are being promised today, either the day, the hour, the day of judgment, or the chastisement that comes in this world, When they will be seeing it, it is coming. Hatta iza rauma yu aduna. What they are being promised. Fasa ya lamoon. At that time they will come to know. They will realize. Man azafu nasiran wa aqallu adada. Who is weaker in allies and less in numbers. They used to boast, oh Muhammad, you have a few followers. You see, Abu Jahl used to boast. Have you ever visited my, you know, place? In my house, how many people are there? They come to me, they sit with me. Who is with you? None. Except a few, you know, few slaves, people belonging to the lowest strata of our society. We find them with you. Nobody, no honorable person. So this was their boasting. So Allah is saying, on that day they will come to know who is weaker in allies and who is less in numbers. قُلْ إِنْ أَدْرِيَ قَرِيبٌ أَبَعْ مَا تُوَعْدُونَ أَمْ يَجْعَلُ لَهُ رَبِّي أَبَدًا This subject has been discussed in Surah Al-Anbiya also. إِنْ أَدْرِيَ قَرِيبٌ أَمْ بَعِدٌ مَا تُوَعْدُونَ I don't know. What is promised to you has come very near or it is far off. I don't know. It will come to you. There is no doubt. The hour will come, there is no doubt. There will be resurrection, no doubt. 
And if you reject me, there will be a chastisement in this world, no doubt. But when that chastisement will come, I don't know. When the hour will come, I don't know. The same thing here. Well, in Adri, I don't know. A karimun matu aduna. What uh, you are being promised has come very near. Am yajalo lahu rabbi amada. Or my Lord will still appoint for it a distant term. He can give you a long respite. It's up to him. It's his exclusive prerogative. He has to decide. Alimul ghayb. He is the knower of the unseen. Fala yuzhiru ala ghaybihi ahada. He doesn't disclose his ghayb, his unseen secrets to anyone. Illa manir tadamir rasulin. Except whomsoever he chooses from among the messengers. Now this is very important, you know, the very controversial subject of ilm ghayb. Whether the messengers of Allah have possessed ilm ghayb or not. And it's a very controversial issue with, you know, sectarian issue. But here it is 100% clear. Every messenger was given some of the knowledge of the unseen. Otherwise it could not be a messenger at all. Allah shows to them. Allah showed to Muhammad Sallallahu the paradise, the hell, on the night of Isra. He showed. So, Ilm Ghaib, some knowledge, not the total knowledge, some knowledge of the unseen is definitely given to every messenger. So Allah doesn't give this knowledge. لا يسر على غيبه على أهدا إلا من ارتضى من رسول Whomsoever he chooses. وَكَذَلِكَ نُرِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَلَكُتَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ This way we were showing Ibrahim the secret, you know, arrangements of this universal kingdom of ours. So Allah showed to Ibrahim. Allah showed to Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Even in this world, not only in the night of Isra. Once he was reading a prayer, when there was doubt, and you know, he once, he just sat back, and once he extended his arm in, 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 to in front of him. People, then after the Salah was concluded, they asked, Oh Prophet, what are you doing? Is it a part of this Salah? We should also do it in the same way, coming back, and then, you know, extending our arm? No, no, no. It was when I was praying. This paradise was brought in my front. And there were the bunches of the fruit. And unintentionally, I raised my hand and extended my hand to get, pluck some of the fruit of the paradise. And second time, the hell was brought before me. It was so horrible, I couldn't bear it. So, unintentionally, I turned somewhat back. So this is in this world also. So this unseen has been shown to the prophets and messengers of Allah. But it's not the total unseen. No. The total knowledge of seen and unseen is with Allah only. But some of the unseen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the knowledge of that to his messengers. فَإِنَّهُ يَسْلُكُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ لَسَدَى Now this is another very important point. Whosoever he appoints a messenger and then gives him some of the knowledge of the unseen and now he appoints him and he charges him with the duty that convey this message to the people. So he produces for him guards. فَإِنَّهُ يَسْلُكُ بِمْبَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ خَلْفِهِ رَسَدَا So then he causes a guard to go before him and behind him. An angel in front of him, angel behind him. لَيَعْلَمُ So that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows it definitely. أَنْ قَدْ أَبْلَغُوا رِسَالَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ that they have really and actually conveyed to these people the messages from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, so to say, some wireless set, some person walking in front of you, holding a wireless set, somebody before you, and reporting somewhere, yes, yeah, yes, this is happening, this had happened, as, as you liked, you reporting to some officer, according to your instructions, everything has been done, in the same way. But these are not seen. These are the angels. One angel is walking in front of the Prophet Another one is walking behind him. 
when he is conveying the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you know the reports are going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yes, he has, he has conveyed your message to his people. لِيَعْلَمَ عَنْ قَدَبْ لَغُوْ رِسَانَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ وَآهَاتَ بِمَا لَدَيْهِمْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already encompassed all that is with them. Nothing is out of his knowledge. As regards his knowledge, it encompasses everything. وَأَحْسَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ عَدَدَا And he has computed the account of everything. So he has every knowledge with him and he will deal you accordingly on the basis of his infallible knowledge. There can be no mistake, no error in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.